Nice. You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones realm who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? <clears throat> what's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Equality? Save for our knack. Dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Gotta get better at dodging. Clyde, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother, and cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough, was it?
See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Holy shit, that guy shot me. Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground <laughs> Imperials. <sighs> let's get this over with then They're not giant lizards. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's amazing. This game is great. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Wing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. <sighs> huh. Interesting. Like, well, like, I don't know, fucking. Feels kind of cheap and chintzy when you take out the free roam part of it. That I really want to go do a side mission, but make it quick. So, will it be? you a good while. Step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. 
Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Sure. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hide <sighs> away both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, oh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Yay. Where to next? For now, Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? You're leaving? Already? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's Thanks. no need to. That's nah, not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Excellent. So that was it. I guess I just fast travel there at any moment, just like that. Cool. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Ha <laughs> ha 
Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Oh. You! This might take a while. to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. Subtle. Okay. I don't even know what he looks like. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? Uh, 
Okay, howdy ho, here I am. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Climb! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Not yet, my lady, but we have the dominance companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My thanks. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! Ugh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> That's not good. What is that thing? If this means what I think it does, then Sid has an explaining to do.
That was easy enough. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question. Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is there. And she's gone. She say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Fuck any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. <sighs> oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it sunders the deep. The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And through the Revenge won't bring him back. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. 
I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fight. You're content to be a slave. <coughs> His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. <sighs> Do be gentle with them. Clive. Mm. Wake up. Gav's back. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. All right, I'm falling asleep. We could have called it quits here. No, no, 
settled. There's someone I want. Yeah, we'll, <clears throat> we'll pick this up later. Gotta save the game now. <laughs> oh yeah, and I haven't even used a single ability point. We'll save all this stuff for the next next time. Goodbye.